If you're taking the AP chemistry exam, here are five hacks you need to know. Hi, I'm Corinne of Chem with Corinne, and I do not believe in gatekeeping. These are the secrets that I wish I had known years ago. So let's get started. Tip number one, don't stress about sig figs. Just use three on the entire exam. And let me explain why. On the exam, you're gonna have one portion of one question worth a total of one point that is based on sig figs. It's gonna be a measurement. It's gonna be a value taken from a graph, something really simple. On everything else, there's a tolerance of plus or minus one sig fig. We rarely see anything that is less precise than two or more precise than four sig figs. So three is always a safe bet. All right, tip number two, assume the 5% rule applies to everything on the AP exam. Okay, you do not need to waste your time making sure that you show that the X is less than 5%. It is less than 5%. Assume it. You don't even have to mention it as you're showing your work. If you feel like you need to, you can write in a statement justifying that you are negating X, but it's not required. Might not be the case in your class, but for the AP exam, just negate X. And keep in mind, I'm not talking about when I'm solving for the equilibrium concentration of a product and I have that equal to 2X. I'm talking about when I'm subtracting from those initial concentrations. And that leads into tip number three. You do not have to clear your calculator for this exam. So whatever you have in there, if you have the mole saved, if you have the periodic table, just keep it in there. If you don't have that saved, don't scramble to do that right now because again, you don't want to waste time on this exam. But if you're someone who enjoys using quadratic formula, using the solve function on your calculator, you can. Tip number four, this is a titration tip. When it comes to weak acid, strong base or weak base, strong acid titrations, remember that the pH equals the pKa at the half equivalence point. So when you look at your titration curve, find that plateau. That is where your half equivalence point is going to occur. And that's where pH equals pKa. And finally, tip number five, know these equations. Yes, you have an equation sheet, but these are the equations not on the equation sheet. The big one is a cell potential equation. Everything else is just an iteration of other equations on the sheet, but uh, not having to work with logs and rearrange some of these equations will save you a ton of time, which that's the whole point of these tips. You need to save as much time as you can because uh, it's a beast of an exam. I hope this was helpful. Like this video if you'd like to see more AP Chem tips and feel free to post your questions in the comments. And if you're one of the uh, unlucky ones whose teacher is a stickler for sig figs and the quadratic formula, you'll be better for it. Good luck out there.